audio test audio test Close up audio test, close up audio test. Desktop audio test, desktop audio test. I think we got it. I think we do too. Looks all right too, though. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, all looking pretty good. Sweet. I think we got oh, it. I'm about to turn did that you, off, uh, though. Did you, did you PM David Slay? I did. I did. I got the number. Got that together? Yep. Got that all set. I got the contest drawing down here. Pulled us up a couple of little things here. I got the audio on, though. Let me get the, uh, yeah, we got to nerves. Let me stick it under my keyboard here. It's going to get nerve wrecking up for a while. There we go. All right, let's see. Let's get chat popped out. Yep. Hello, fellas. Hello to you, hello, Christina. Hello, hello, hello. You got the cool dad. It's Mr. Bellano. Thank you Bellino. for the comment. I'm not sure. sure about that. We call him Bellano. It sounds better. Bellano also sounds kind of happy. Kinda happy. Who is Hap? Howie. Oh, that's Thomas, man. Oh, Thomas. Costello. The Internet Warrior. Beast mode, beast mode. <laughs> All right, let's get chat going here. I need to run over to my Facebook group real quick and post Nice this. background, no creases. Looks like it might have been ironed. <laughs> it was ironed. Oh, that's Becca saying that. <laughs> me and my wife did the ironing. So let me get over to JC Facebook. JC doesn't look like powder. I don't look like a zombie this week. I actually played with the uh, the saturation and all that good stuff. I like so, the shirt. <clears throat> What's your shirt tonight? Yep. I got oh, skulls. Oh, yeah, I don't even know where this came from. It's very Viennish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Let's get this live feed. You guys going out there, share the live feed. Pop it up on Nomad. I'm putting it out on mine as we speak. Join... Join us tonight live as we give away a couple of Mason RDAs and Ramble. I can't spell for shit. Like a couple of vaping lunatics. There she goes. So you guys will see, we've actually titled this The Nomad Show 001. So now we kind of keep up with it. Well, I think we're finally, you know, I mean, you look at that feed. Let me get back up here. You look at that feed, bro? Man, that looks good here. Yeah, that's pretty decent, I'll be honest. What do you guys think? Does it look, does it look nice and clean? Plenty of good color saturation? Set it over to HD, though. Yeah, yeah, it's set over to HD so it'll look right. Yep. Yeah, I'll actually show you guys how to do that actually because I can even do a. Uh, we got some. Desktop stuff. We can do some tricky shit here. So. Tricky dicky. I'll just drag this over. Mm. But I, I always forget which way that monitor is though. Yeah, I do too, man. I keep trying to drag it down. So I've already you know seen you change your position. Yep. Man. So yeah, if you guys have the. Uh, if you guys have it pulled up, down here there's a little gear down in the bottom. Where you can change. Oh, I gotta sit You're the scene over. Mm -hmm. Oh, I haven't. It just hadn't caught up. Okay. I'm. I've confused myself now. Hello. Oh. Scene for yes. So yeah, down here you will have the uh, yeah. Down here you got the little gear icon. Just click on it and change it, and that'll set you over to high definition. And we are streaming in 1080p, correct? We are streaming 1080p, 30 frames a second. Ooh. I like the black backdrop. I think that did a lot. Me too. Yeah, it looks a lot nicer. I think it 
what you know what I think was happening is I think that every uh, the black or that that green background was fighting with the foreground and causing some lighting things. Possibly. Or that I just see how we're popping really nice on that. I do there. like the green though, man. I do too. Maybe a darker shade of green. Possibly. Maybe a darker shade of green. Black, Let me mute just see how this audio sounds. Yep. Yep. Like game's it. real nice. I like it. Okay, okay. We gotta, let's get chat back up. How about six, bro? We're gonna kick off here in about three Let's minutes. See if anybody left us any ideas to talk about tonight? Yeah. So we've got. A, I've got our list pulled up of some things we're gonna kind of wing it with. But have you guys got any ideas or anything you'd like me to add to the list for uh, for us to chat about tonight? We're gonna talk about water. stuff. Did you grab us both water? No, sir. I did. I mean, I will grab you one. It's not an issue. You. I don't need this sugar anyway. Uh, it's Pontotoc, Mississippi, just outside of Tupelo. It's called a Pontotoc Vape Lounge. So that's where we're at. Yep. Where more on that. Yep. Thank you, sir. There's nothing like some good old cold water. It's purified. You know, but they had minerals to this stuff. This isn't like. Really? You know, I used Electrolytes? To, no, I used to work, this is no joke, I used to work for a company where we sold whole house water filtration systems. And we had this little thing that we checked parts per million of shit that was in the water. And in your everyday tap water, there's literally thousands of things in parts per million. Like you get a ranking of like 1,500 parts per million in your water. Hmm. But if you go to like Aquafina, that yeah. shit has nothing in it. It's just fucking water. Just this stuff, H2O, yep, huh? This stuff's actually got a couple of, uh, couple of hundred parts per million in it. Hmm. So they add some minerals and essentials. Oh, okay, it was, is it McCaleb? Yeah, McCaleb. We just right down the road. Scott, actually, from uh, from Amaze of Vapors, he's texted, said he's going to stop in and say hi to us. So we'll see how that, see if he shows up, see how that goes. Yeah, come see us, man. Always love to meet people from around the area. Yeah, for just, sure. o just over on Highway 15, right across from First National Bank. The first choice now, which is continuing to mess me up because I've known it for first national first, my first choice yeah life. they did yeah. change the name yeah I haven't even come close to catching on to that yet Let's see who's texting me man that color looks so good up there alright we got a message from David Slay we'll give it another minute or two here we go oh it's David it's a tracking okay <laughs> Can we uh, absolutely yell? I'm talking about yell, curse, scream, calling yes. everything but a child of God. I have no issue with that. None whatsoever. He was definitely no friend of Jesus. I, I support it. I support it. No, he he, he hates Jesus. Now, I've heard that several times. In fact, he said he hated Jesus Garcia just the other day. Yeah. The waiter, though. Yeah. The waiter. The guy over at there. Applebee's. Yeah, yeah, at Applebee's. Well, I mean, he, he did burn the steak. I don't know that it was entirely burnt. I mean, you know, I mean, there was no pink left. It was burnt. So what's some of the... I know you... I saw you flipping through earlier, reading a few articles. Yep. Kind of, what's the preview on what you're going you know, to discuss tonight? Well, I, I pulled up a couple of articles. I'm a master of bullshit, and that's where the whole steak and the Jose thing. Oh, here you I go. I could take that shit for hours. Um, I actually looked up a couple of news articles, and I'll, uh, I'll pull them up here. I'll show them to you guys when we kind of get to it. i got to keep quit doing that losing chat. Maybe move chat Oh, Dana Gann's on. She told me earlier she wasn't going to be on, so I guess Dana's Let's move chat a liar. Up there. Let's move chat up. Um, I pulled up a couple of news articles. One about, you know, Leonardo DiCaprio just won his Oscar. Yep. I don't know if you know that. Yep. Won it for the Revenant. Um, but at the, uh, what was the what was the event before the Oscars? And my wife should probably know because we watched both of them. I have no idea. It was uh, about people. Sh no, when the People's Choice Awards, but it, and it's vaping related. Um, shoot, what was it? I don't know. One of the fucking awards things that was before the Oscars. But anyway, he was vaping in the audience. I've actually seen that picture. Right. I didn't know where it happened. At, right. They showed a picture of him of him vaping. And some fucking idiot actually come out. This doctor... Uh, let's see where I got his name right here. His, this doctor... Dr. Norman Eldman has come out and say, saying people shouldn't, ba shouldn't vape. That mm -hmm. they might as well smoke. And uh, so I really want to talk a little... The Grammys, that's what it was. Uh, we want, I want to talk a little bit about that, and then I really want to kind of move down to talk about the uh, the Iowa Attorney General jumping up and telling the truth. I'm interested to hear what you found out about yeah. this. Really, really good story. So you know, really we have people that. coming to shop constantly, especially people not familiar with vaping or anything. That are just that's what not always, but the the majority of the questions we get about that are, isn't this just as dangerous 
as cigarettes. And I even yeah. had some people say, you know, I've heard that this is more dangerous than smoking cigarettes. Oh, uh, you know, Taylor down in Oxford, she she hears customers come in who have actually somehow been programmed to think that there's antifreeze in this stuff. Of antifreeze. Course. Of Only course. because there's propylene glycol in yeah, antifreeze, right? Glycol. Yeah, glycol, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I love it. Do you guys, though, like I said, before we go any further, because we're going to kick off, it's time. Do you guys have any subjects or topics you would like us to, to go over tonight? Um, any devices you've heard of? Yeah. And uh, we'll give it another minute or two to let you guys respond to this, and then we're going to kind of jump into it. I don't see it. any topics, man. Yeah. See, Becca's saying that you put the lotion on the skin. Yeah, she, uh, she, <laughs> she, see, she said my tats were looking ashy, so she... Uh, You're looking ashy, dog. She straightened me out. We got something gay for Tommy tonight on Burnsy. Oh, sweet. We even got Lisa listening in tonight, believe Yezers. it or not. Yezers. Yezers. Send us a, send us a video of her feed. Oh, sweet. That's, that's like, that was the test feed. How was it? That's earlier. Lotus Mini, that's okay. Earlier. Oh, well, man, come on. We'll talk about the Lotus Mini. That's earlier. Anything else? Well, cool. Juice making. Large batch. That's a good topic. I'll tell you what. Hey, Tommy, um, if you will, call Lisa and walk her through getting on a live feed instead of on the old one. Just, she just sent she, me a tell video. Her, just tell her to go to my Facebook page and follow the link. Juice yeah, Tommy, making. tell her to go to the Facebook link and follow it. Juice blah. making large versus small batches. And the K-Box. Okay, I'll right. grab a K-Box right now and we'll talk about it. That'll be yeah, we'll close for we'll to that. I don't mind doing that at all. I am getting so Did happy with this feed. K-box yep, K-Box 200, yep. I'm getting so happy with the quality of this feed. I mean, this has been so much work. Uh, I don't know if David Star Shadow was on here, but thank you so much for for the umbrella light up there. Thank you, Pam, for the umbrella light. Uh, I mean, the, this is really starting to get nice. We had our fiber optic lines installed today, so we can stream perfect 1080p. Um, the only hiccups we have now is camera quality and how fast will YouTube get it to you. So, but I look at the setup, and I mean, I'll tell you, I'm so, I'm so proud of where it's come from since the day that me and Adam sat right over there behind the bar and did the first one. Caleb's got. Do I have a tank in here? I've also got something I'm gonna show you guys. A buddy of mine made. It makes strip tips. We'll get up close, but these are amazing. I'll show these off, and I'll put a link to how to get in I'm touch with that. Asked about the K box because it's got some some positive features, and it's just got one or two negatives I'd like to discuss yeah, as well. Yeah, well, I'm having actually a little issue with my K box, so we'll get to that. Let's we'll get to that a little further on down the road. But uh, so let's kick it off. So to start, first, guys, tell us what you're vaping tonight. Adam, what do you got going on over here? Well, I got a K box 200 right now. Yeah. Now you well tank. Um, actually, what I'm vaping on is my my 3000 and the Zephyrus V2, man. What juice are you vaping? I'm actually vaping a Frosted Cherry Wonder. I'm vaping the new yeah. uh, Pam's new flavor, yeah, the so jelly. Uh, the so jelly. I'm I tell telling you, let's this take stuff a second talk so about good. that. I actually it's got some. Juice. I actually brought some in here loaded up in the cyclone. That's what I got. Um, oh, wait a I got. Hang on. I got my Griffin. Now that, that that leads to a small topic. The Griffin 25 coming out next week for any of you Which guys I think who are big be Griffin a lot fans. better than the original 22. I mean, I love the Griffin as it is, and I'm still I'm back to the stout light. So if you guys remember any of the controversy, I'm actually not having quite the problems out of this one that I had out of the last one. But so jelly, off to the races. Um, man, I gotta tell you, it's not, I'm not a you know I'm not a fruit vapor. First off, anybody that's watching and knows me knows that. It's a wonderful, wonderful vape, man. Um, mm -hmm. it's a it's a fruit I can deal with. It's not overly sweet. It's mm -hmm. not. It doesn't linger on you with all that sugar, and it's got a nice, great pop. I will say this: <coughs> I was telling Pam that owns voluptuous earlier. I like it better at higher wattage. It's more tart. It's, it's <coughs> not as sweet. It leaves your mouth a little more watery on the end. Yeah. Um, so out of a tank, around 70, 80 watts, where I like it at. And it's not like a candy grape. Like it's not like new grape or you know like a grape soda. You know those things that you say taste like purple. Yeah, exactly. It, it's not like that. It's 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 really a nice. It's just a nice smooth. It's grape. like a Welch's grape jelly. I think she she hit the description. It really perfect. is this more is of a, a jelly. Because you know, do you, do you do that? You know, because when I always like I drink a new grape, I'll say, well, that tastes like purple. Yeah, it's just you know? uh, it's not great. This yeah. isn't that great. Um, it's a, it's a really nice jelly grape, so I think she was pretty right on on yep. that. I wouldn't say quite the jam. It doesn't have those underlying no. tones like no, no, no. the dark tones in it, but it's a nice like jelly you would yep. get out of say Kroger or somewhere. Yeah, yeah. 
Really good juice. And you guys, see what we got here. We got some, uh, we got a hex with a glow at the glacier. That's got to be Christina. Yep, with some headshot. <laughs> got the noisy cricket, cricket and the griffin. Now, hey, now, 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 is it Babes Phil? Who is it? That's uh, Costello? No. I'm not um, sure who Babes Phil is. Babes Phil. Honestly, maybe he'll maybe I would, post up myself. I would actually say. like you to, to, to maybe solve a question that I have. Because I, I tank all the time, and I'm actually looking to figure out a build that I can use in a VCMT or that I could use in my Griffin to actually use on a series box. So what build are you using? And Because uh, I'm curious about that, because I want to use my Griffin on a, uh, on a Noisy Cricket or the, the Piglet box, yeah, Phenomenal, the Piglet, yeah. or the Mamad 3000. The Unchained, um, yeah. I'm looking to, oh uh, yeah, 3000 Unchained. I'm looking for a build that will work in a rebuildable tank that you can use on a series box. So I'd love to hear how that's going or how you're doing that. Maybe you're just um, going to have to get some thinner wire to make that I don't know what it's going to take, man. With a, with a tank, I, I think you need to be around probably, what do you think, 0. 0.6, 0. 0.7? At least 0. 0.6. I don't know, it's got a wick. Hell, got I a will wick. tell you this. I was vaping this UL earlier with a 0. 0.5 coal on that, uh, that series box that Scott left over here. And it was vaping very well. I was taking long drags off of it. I just must not have good luck with, with the crown stuff because 80 watts is kind of as hard as I can push it. Yeah, I think I, I, and that was fresh batteries. I think I did the math somewhere around 120 or so. It was tasted phenomenal. I don't know. Just Maybe I'm just bad luck on that. Uh, let's see what else we got up here, and then we'll kind of move on forward. Oh, nothing there. Okay, we got a Tesla Innovator 2 wooden box mod with a Mutation XV4. Mutation, man, that's a tough one for me. I can't I can't really... It's the bottom airflow that yeah. just kills me. The way they just raise it up barely above the deck is just this little too leaky for my taste, man. I, I can't drip them. Because I, I, I literally have to take the cap off and individually drip each one. Yeah, coil. I thought the Mutation V2 was about where the... the the real innovation good stuff kind of ran out with the mutations that's just my personal opinion yeah. though. i know a lot of people like bottom airflow and some devices i like it it depends on how it's built you know yeah um i always like the forge version too that came out from the side and then up and was high up on the sides you know right what I mean? right um the ones with the lower deck though man it's just it's so it just hard to keep out. those from leaking though. yeah they just don't do great for me so he says he does a, a dual 12 wrap of 24. so that would work on a series box i think yep. that would get us there so yeah, um, how about David Slay's contest? You want to go ahead and, and cover that? Part? Yeah, let's knock that out. So he was giving away a uh, avocado, right? Mm -hmm. um, ran this on Vaporize Nomad's Facebook page. Yep. So who's the winner, JC? Number seventy-five. Now I don't know who that is. Uh, he said he thought it was somebody who was in the military. Um, and he sweet. said just just message him. And if you guys don't know, avocado is a pretty sweet new little uh, new little tank. I'm gonna check it out. I, you know, when I saw it, I thought it was just going to be a Genesis tank because it's got, you know, it's got the bottom juice, yep. it's got the holes, but I didn't realize it actually does have a velocity deck on yep. it, so it's made to do horizontal cools yep. with the with the wicks going with down the in there. Down there so I'm actually, I, I'm going to revisit that because I gave it a hell no when I first saw it. But whoever number 75 is, you're the winner. Message I've seen David, David Slay on here tonight. He, he was on, on the road going to a storage shed to do something or other. I'm okay. not sure. So he may make it up here later. I think I just heard the door. That might be Scott. Scott who, you see? Might be Mr. Shashon. Oh, let me I would love to know who 75 is, though, if whoever 75 is here. Is that Scott? Yep, yep. Oh, yeah, Mr. Stone is in the house. Mr. Stone is in the house. Y'all get on in here. I'm by myself. Scott, we got you a chair right here. Sorry, it took me a minute to hey, find the place. You know, it's off. It's not like yeah, a base of vapors there on it's, Main it's Street. It's outside the ghetto, man. It's, you know. <laughs> drop, drop her down a little bit. So, so for those of y'all that don't know. Oh, here, here we go. Here, here we go. go. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> so those of y'all that don't know, I'm sure most of y'all see me and Scott going back and forth. Really, Scott and Steven mainly going back and forth on, on uh, Facebook it. all the time. Oh, he's got a crush I, on I you. It's Steve, okay, man. He claims Steve, you got a crush on him, though. Stop smoking, start vaping. Oh, see, I Amaze thought, of vapor. Uh, amazing vapor. You know, so, if you, you live in the slums, yeah, if you live in the slums, Amazing Vapor has a shop Tupelo. No, actually, Scott's got a, a store in Tupelo. He's got a store in South Tilla and uh, pretty nice stores, actually. I'll, I'll call people liars if they ever say that again. And one, <laughs> one is Startful, too, called Top Dog. Yeah, that's Top right, dog, yeah. with uh, what's, uh, Melissa. Brandon. Melissa Brandon Brandon Brandon. Brandon. Yeah. Um, and I'll tell you all this. I think Scott had, like, the first vape store in Tupelo, right? Yeah. yeah. So, um, 
Definitely has done some things think, for the area for sure. I think JC was one of my first customers. Might have been. I was in there pretty quick. He was one of my first customers. You know, no, actually, I came in. Uh, you were still two weeks from opening. You were building the bar. Yeah. I, I remember very well. I think you turned that empty room into something pretty damn nice. Yeah, we just read. Uh, and then the remodel is the fucking beautiful. And so, contrary to popular There's belief, me and Scott actually oh, get along keep it. pretty well these days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, let me keep it. Although we don't let everybody know keep, that. You, keep what? Let me keep this mouth. Don't be like that. At least long enough to review it. I'll he comes over here to be a special guest and gets robbed. I don't know. How is this? <laughs> Can I keep it long enough to review yeah, it? Yeah, I'll look. Look at this little baby. Hey, you know what I ordered this week? Oh, I love that. You know what I ordered this week? I ordered a moonshot. <laughs> Can't wait. The new Galaxy. Or no, no, not the Galaxy. The, uh... Have you seen that? No, I have not seen what that. Is this That's right the, here? uh... Ajoy Solo Mini. Here, let's do it up close real quick. Let's Take a look at it. Scott, if you will, just on the screen, explain what's Scott, going tell on us here, what we're brother. Looking at here. Uh, really, today's the first day I've even messed with it. Uh, so what's with the T-bar control here? Well, uh, it's kind of, it's got a lot of features I'm That's still trying to figure there, out. Like a, uh, it says it's got taste control on it. I hadn't really kind of figured that one hmm. out yet. Uh, the manual focus. But oh, yeah. it, it's actually got a, a pretty nice vape to it. Yeah. So what does the wattage go up to, Scott? I believe it's 80. Oh, really? So it's a solo I mini. Mean, what would you compare it to? I mean, just having uh, used it for a while. About like the Kanger uh, 75 watt. Music. Okay. You know, it's uh, it's got a pretty nice vape to it. Uh, it's a pretty sharp looking little device. It, I like it. It, it feels well good in your hand. hand. Yeah. Uh, kind of like where the button is. is. Here, yeah. uh, How much juice does the tank hold? I want to say it's five minutes. Yeah, it's a like, sexy looking little device. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Even the airflow, I like the way it's built, kind of very industrial looking. It's got looking. dual coils in it too. Uh, dual, uh, almost, uh, well, they're both horizontal in there. It's kind of. Well, How many watts did you say? 75. Okay. This is one thing we were talking about yep. the other day. So um, take 75 watts for what you will on a single battery mod. But I got to say, this thing fits. No, I'll like try this out and get back to us on this one, man. What's his retail for, Scott? Um, eighty nine, and that oh eighty nine with the battery. Okay, that's not bad at all. Pretty good deal. With, with tank all tank comes with. It? Okay. Yeah. And what kind of coals does it come with? It so comes, this was reading point six. Yeah, and it, it comes with a point six and a point okay. four. I think. It's Let's close. look at the mouse tank too while you're looking up close. Because okay. this is one I'm really excited for. I okay. love the mouse tank now. I'm, so this uh, is what JC is talking then. about. The I think they did CCI mouse tank M A U S mouse tank. They, yeah. uh, the airflow is not over, like with the uh, Triforce, it's too much nearly. Yeah. It's not, uh, that one, it's not that bad. I like the top cap on it, how it uh, yeah, it's locks cam in. Fitting, right? so, so you get it cammed off. Yeah. Basically, it's not a thread. If you'll see right there, it's got the, the locks on it and simply cams back in here instead of having threads. And it locks in really nice, too, doesn't it? Yeah. So I like I, it. I'm uh, really excited about this tank. It's like double O-rings. Pretty large coal in there, isn't it, JC? Oh, yeah. the yeah. coal's huge. How That's many cool. watts can you vape that up at? Uh, 120 with that coal sitting in it. I vaped it around 100. Uh, so the mouse. And what does this retail for, guys? I'm not familiar with it. Yeah, $35 right there. $40. So, 40, really? I think. That's $40. not bad at all. It's a re very, really reasonable tank. And from, at this point, a really good company, CCI. Yeah, They've been making some really good uh, products for the past year or so. Hopefully they get some more in. Uh, I got. I had to steal that one from uh, Kevin at uh, the Vapor Stockroom. Yep. Now I'm stealing <laughs> it from you. Well, Scott, we are. Uh, we kind of got kind of got some topics here pulled up. We're going to talk about next. We're going to kind of let's talk about this Leonardo DiCaprio thing because I think this is insanity. Yeah, go through that because I didn't really. Um, I didn't follow what you were reading today. Um, so for those of you that don't know, at the uh, it wasn't it wasn't the Grammys. It wasn't it was just before the Oscars, like the uh, fucking I don't know what show it was. But anyway, he was vaping out in the audience. And uh, TMZ picked it up, and they made this huge fucking ordeal about it and talking about how he was subjecting the other uh, contestants or nominees to secondhand vapor. <laughs> and and this, this stupid fucking doctor, I, let me get his name back up here. This stupid doctor goes to talk. Yeah, I keep figuring out what monitor it's on. This stupid damn doctor named... Oh, what's his name? Dr. Norman Eldman. This is what he... This man actually said this. Um, he's the ALA advisor, Norman Eld, Eldman. Um, he cautiously told a journalist, people shouldn't vape. In other words, if you're a smoker who can't or won't quit traditional methods, Dr. Eldman's advice is you might as well smoke. 
Now, what is that? That is absolutely big tobacco. That's oh, absolutely yeah. propaganda. Lobbying. Is what it is. Special interest in propaganda. Yep. Um, and I'm gonna tell you what. I'm I'm proud to see. And you know, Leonardo DiCaprio. You see him out there with some nice rigs. Oh yeah, I yeah. Um, I, I saw a picture of him on a yacht that he had a it was absolutely an RTA. There was no doubt it was an RTA. Nice it was probably a 200 watt box. I mean, he's doing some real vaping. And uh, I'm telling you what, I'm happy to see that. But I just think it's so crazy. That, that the establishment takes an opportunity like yeah. this to, uh, to try to, to come out and, and figure out some way to tell blatant lies. This is absolute fucking well, you know, lies. I, I what tell, do you think? Well, I tell everybody about, I got a, a Melvin, his name is 84 years old. He was one of my first customers when I opened up two years ago, a little yeah. over two years ago. And when he came in our store, he, he was, uh, he, he come in and said, Scott, or, you know, hey, introduced so He said, look, my doctor just told me I'd like one more cigarette up, I'll be dead by Christmas. Mm -hmm. And this was about February, March. And so he that day, he'd been smoking for 60 plus years. Yeah. And that day, he quit smoking. He hadn't smoked since. He's vape, uh, since, uh, he's still vaping. Billy right customer now. comes in every couple of days. And the last report he gave us that his doctor said, his doctor said that his lungs uh, sounded clear, that he uh, should live many, many more years. But he should have just kept smoking, right? Man, according should, according this to asshole, this fucking yeah. idiot, he should have just kept smoking. I mean, that to me, that's the testimony enough. I was about to say, there's so many success stories out there like that. People have changed their lives for the better, and still you have, you know, people that Absolutely. are... And I can't figure out why doctors and stuff do that. These should not well, be so, ignorant but, but people. But it's, you notice it's not well, local doctors. It's not... No, 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 you, no. You go to ask your local doctors where you're from, they'll tell you, yeah, no, I think these... But it's doctors that are in these big, you know... Colleges and stuff. Yeah, they're not, not you know, somebody with an agenda yeah. other than helping people. My, uh, my twelve-year-old, my, my twelve-year-old son just joined us. <laughs> Hello, Jamie. But yeah, it's just special. It's special interest. It's uh, and, and like, uh, is it? Uh, oh, uh, what's this guy in New York with the big beard, vaporized nomad guy, uh, Delano? Isn't oh, he, James, isn't yeah, he cool James. Dad? Yeah, he's cool dad. He's yeah. the one. He said, "Follow the money," and that's absolutely that's exactly it. Well, it follow the money. It's and the government's in it too because you look at it this way. We took. They said we took three billion from the cigarette company four, last. Four, four billion. billion. Four billion. So we took four billion from the cigarette company last year. We took twelve billion from in taxes. That's right. And that's last right. year. This year. Yeah. See, and how I, much did you take out of senator's pockets? At yeah, the same I mean, time. So exactly. Uh, it's it, it drives me crazy. I just kind of have to. Absolutely. So the other thing I wanted to talk about is I wanted to talk about kind of the uh, the polar opposite of this story. Exactly, and that's that's the one I wanted to get to. This is more of the this is more legit and yep. and something we can use to talk to people about. Because you know I'm sure you have people come in all the time, Scott, that say I've heard this is as dangerous or more dangerous than smoking cigarettes. And and this is what JC is about to go through is something even y'all can use in, in your everyday life. I'm sure everybody gets questions of bait. Mm -hmm. um, go ahead, JC. Sorry. Well, yeah, you know, you see on the screen there, it says Iowa Attorney General, he tells the truth about electronic cigarettes. I'm just going to kind of read this one little paragraph here, if, if I can ever remember where the mouse is. Um, in a statement released last week, Miller, Attorney General, adds his voice to a growing choir of public health advocates and researchers who agree that vaping is far less hazardous than smoking. He cites two estimates of the relative risk of vaping, 95, 95% and 90 to 98% less hazardous than smoking. Um, I mean, I think that, and there's tons of studies, you know. I, I'm sorry. Go, no, go ahead. Go Have ahead. you ever done that thing where I saw it on the, uh, YouTube one time, and so I tried it. Yeah. You take two uh, Coke bottles, mm -hmm. and you put about that much water in both of them. You blow vape, fill one bottle up with vape, fill one bottle up with cigarette smoke, and you shake them. I haven't done that. Until the, and when you get through shaking both of them, you shake both of them for like a minute, and you set them on the counter. The one with the cigarette smoke, the water has turned yellow. Oh, yeah. The Good one time. with the... Uh, with vaping, so it is still just perfect there. like it was yeah. when you put it in there. Well, and that all goes back to, and, and those are accurate numbers. This isn't, you know, somebody on our side just coming with numbers out of his ass. German indoor air quality study done in a vacuum proved that, that vaping was 98% less hazardous than smoking. You know, and it's good to see because rarely do you see officials, do you see people yeah. in government. Um, I mean, like, take, I don't know if it was in Georgia or where it was, but there was an actual guy on the committee, sitting on the committee, vaping, while they're trying to yeah. fucking knock down yeah, vaping. Yeah. I mean, you remember, did I, you see yeah, this shit? Yeah, I saw that. And, you know, I, it's great to have an attorney general come out and just tell the truth. Exactly. Um, and I'm exactly. really, really happy to see things like that kind of going you on. You know, I don't know, did y'all see the page of uh, Larry Fairclough? 
representative out of West Virginia. Have y'all seen yeah. his, his page? I thought I added y'all to it. I'll try to next time. Uh, there's actually yes, a representative. Yes, I did. I remember and he's that. actually been instrumental in trying to veto bills in Indiana right now by contacting their governor and trying to help. And he's been yeah. one of the leading proponents of, of vaping in, in West Virginia. So if y'all had checked him out, it's, um, it's I think it's uh, Vapors for Fair Cloth. It's on Facebook. Y'all check that out. Show that guy some support. You know, you know they've started a couple. If, they, if they'd hit vaping two and a half years ago and hit it hard they'd probably extinguished it oh yeah but no you doubt. know it's gotten too big now i think that i really think that they'll create a of, black market what yeah. they do. that's all they'll exactly. do is create a black market and that's probably like that's why i was saying last week that shit like indiana it's nothing more than a war on their own citizens because they're not going to keep people from vaping as long as they can get things shipped to their house yeah, and there's got to be some comfortable medium between what happened in Chicago and what's happening in Indiana. Didn't they get that flipped in Chicago, though? I don't, I don't know. They said zip your fly, man. Oh. <laughs> hey. There's a family it, show, it, fucker. Well, I mean, damn, they wanted to see the show, too. Fucker. <laughs> family oh, show. Well, I see them speaking about the mini vault, too, which is yeah, kind mini of. Yeah, mini vault. Dude, I love this little thing. Uh, hey, take it up close. Let's look at it. The reason I uh, really like it is is because I ride a bike. And not a bicycle. A tricycle. Uh, it's a tricycle. I don't have balance. So but. this is, let me size comparison, but K-Box I always, 200. I never could find one that fit that I could, was little enough I could, yeah. you know, grab my throttle tiny, if I had to with it in my hand. I mean, I and, love this because of how just, small it is compared to that. Yeah. This you is, know. what JC has is an extraordinary small device. In, in and I room. usually about run as the mini, uh, the tank you gave me, that mini. Uh, the mini Lotus. Tool, Lotus oh, yeah. uh, runs really great on it. Yeah. So My yeah, only concern is the wattage. It only runs well, up to a 40 it, watts. Yeah, but hit it. I mean, the thing, it, it hits like, it, you ain't going to get a hot vape. And this, is, this is with I'm the, uh, with the uh, what is it, Clito tank? You're Clito. not going to get a hot vape, but you get a very extensive vape out of it. Where did I put one out? God damn. I know, but it, yeah, it's not bad at all. But it's you're not going to get the hot vape. A lot of people yeah. like that hot vape. How many, how many milliamp hours is the battery? I uh, want to say it's 13. Uh, it's got a real small life over anything. Sort of but I mean, you, know, you can get a good work day out of it. That's, that's impressive. That's very, I was very surprised. But I liked it because I could grab my throttle if I had to, you know, yeah. I was sitting there at a red light and I it turned, you know, and I could have it in my hand without, you know, it taking up the entire palm of my hand. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely a tiny, tiny device, man. And they actually are, uh, got, I saw one today that is, I forgot who it's made by, that's supposed to be a little bit thinner than this one. Well, I, yeah, I read an article back in January that they say this year will be the year of making things smaller. I was about to say, I don't think you, I don't think you would want it much thinner to be able to run a 22 millimeter tank. Yeah. Though, you know what I mean? It might because be it actually of, hangs over, I think, just a hair. Uh, just a, maybe a fuzz. But that's about the right size for 22, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm you know, the only complaint I've heard on it is people say, well, I'm afraid I'll lose it. Do you know what it'll fire down to by any chance? I want to say it's .2. Okay. Pretty low. Yeah. Pretty I know I put experience. that uh, in my Triforce there. I've got uh, the rebuildable. I've got the upgrade put in it where yeah. you can build in it. And I think it's to a .2, and I it was nice. firing earlier. Well, let's see. I'll tell you what, you want to talk about that K-Box 200? Yeah, let's go and get that K-Box 200. Stuff. So uh, I had some I questions that the, here, very right? early on about had a guy suggest us talking about the K-Box 200. Went and grabbed one, so um, it's got some nice features, especially for the money. Um, in in a brick and mortar shop, you're going to pay right around $100 with batteries for the K-Box 200, uh, just depending on where you're at. That's about what you get, Scott. Yeah. 90 to $100 somewhere in there. Um, about the same here. Um, so, what's great about the K-Box 200? Well, first off, 200 watts, um, 18650s in series, so it's. I'm not going to say it's a, a mind blister in 200 watts. I think yeah. it's realistically really put out a good 150, 160 watts, more than most people are ever going to want to vape at. Uh, another thing about this one is it does, I don't know if I can click it fast enough. One, two, three. There that's we go. It does right temp right control. But that's what I want to talk about a little bit. The temp control on this box is probably about 60% of the way there is where it needs to be. What I've had a personally experienced had customers experience problems with is when you try to run this box in temp control it loses a setting uh -huh. so you put a 0.15 nickel coil on it and you're vaping it and it's kind of all over the place it just sketches around to 0.16 but 0 .14. I don't know if a lot of kangers are like that though I think it's just a be honest this is my opinion Scott obviously when you get a chip that's in a hundred dollar box you're probably not getting a great temperature control chip I mean I can't get it changed now one two three 
there we go nichrome so it does have very many settings in it it goes stainless steel one two three and back to wattage i'll say a wattage mode this box is unbelievably excellent man it's just a nice size it fits in your hand well and it's your kanger style box you know what i mean there's nothing radical going on here it's just a nice uh rounded edge box it does have onboard charging that's another thing i'd say a I'm not going to say I dislike it about the Kanger. Yeah, I believe this one has passed through. Yeah, most Kangers. Yeah, it's passed through. The one thing I, I don't like about the Kangers charging system is that they, over time, being wow. charged more and more, the charging system on board becomes ineffective. It gets to where it doesn't want to charge. you got to hold the charger just right, and, and eventually they'll get to where they just won't take a charge anymore. I don't know if it's mine or what. I, I picked up one here a little while back, and I was using a Reaper tank. Is that what it is? Yeah, I hate to. Uh, well, I'm, I'm having some issues with it. The yeah. feeling of it, man. I just make me so what's the issue? The issue, the issue that I was having with it is when I got to like, I mean, still well over half of battery life left. It, it, it fucking completely yeah. fell out. My, right? every, yeah, I've had that. Uh, is that a K-Box thing? Is that I a, guess it is because I've actually had some customers complain about that. It's like they, uh, it's like it. it it gets when you get to half battery life, you might as well you're empty. And I, I took mean, and I was wondering if it was the tank, so I took the tank off, I put it on my reload, worked like a champ, and I still had well over fifty. I'll say this, life. and I'd say it for the RX two hundred too. In the in the eighty to one twenty price range for a two hundred watt box, I mean you gotta realize you're getting a lot of wattage for your dollar. You're not necessarily gonna get that high wow. quality box though. And I mean I, you know, it's something that's that's worth pointing out. You that know what thing. I mean? You you know, you kinda I, I can't think of a box out there for around a hundred dollars that does two hundred watts and has phenomenal temperature control. I, I, just I, heavy can, duty. I think the uh, Mini out. Cooper, man, I think a Mini Cooper is the. See, awful. I've uh, I've had different issues with the Cooper. See, I haven't had any issues really? with the Cooper. I mean, I've I've sold a bunch of them. I, I'm Actually, from, yeah, I had a guy in here the other day that had one tripping out real bad. It was just kind of the screen was just kind of tripping around. That's the only problem I say I've seen with those is the screen yeah, getting now really I've, glitchy and tripping. I haven't had the screen, but you know, Mini Cooper people, they they're real. Uh, Matter, every time I've ever had a problem with the screen, I call it, get in touch with them, and they send it to them, and they send them a uh, replacement. But I would say, I haven't said all that about the Kanker Tech. For 100 bucks with batteries. Oh, it's great. A 200-watt device. If you're running on wattage, this is a phenomenal little oh, device. Oh, I mean, oh, absolutely. I mean, it, I've been running 95 watts on you will right now, and it, it's, a, it's a really, really solid, good rate. But I'm going to play devil's advocate because I'll spend that extra 10 bucks and get a reload of batteries. I'll be honest with but you, though. Whether the RX, I think, suffers from some of the same issues that the Kanger What I hate from. about the, uh, the RX is, is that... When you're charging it, and when we're charging it, charges one battery at a time. It don't charge all three at the well, same time. Well, I mean, see, I, I keep plenty of batteries, though, so I don't... I don't well, we're talking from that. a yeah. from somebody who wants to come in and get a device and yeah. not have a charger, right? Because yeah. that's what a lot of people are going to want to do. Yeah. Um, and I, and I have seen the RXs get very imbalanced with the batteries. I mean, that's a that's a known problem with the RX is mm -hmm. onboard charging creates a an environment where you get two batteries that are charged and one that's not quite yeah. there. And that just makes me wonder, does it really pull off all the, all the batteries at the same time anyway? Or is it, uh, you know, is it only actually using two of the batteries and the third one is a is a backup? That could be possible. I don't I, I don't know that actually that much I about the yeah, chip. I was about to say, I don't know enough about the I chip mean, to even have an educated answer. Trying to talk intelligently about that. About that. Yeah. That's so, what I was looking into. yeah, uh, because I, I still have to re review the K box, and so far, you know, with the power fall off that I'm having, it's not it's not looking well. But I'm gonna spend some more time. Are with you talking about this one right yep, here? Yep, you know, I've never in wattage mode. Now I don't notice power fall. You, in you, temperature control mode, I noticed that pulsing that we mm -hmm. saw in oh, a couple yeah. other boxes. Yeah. But have you used one all day where it got to a half a battery life and saw I had Scott it. to be honest with you. It I'm knows kind of pick it up. I it use it for a little while. Put it down. Yeah. Well, we need to do one drawing real quick because we're giving away the, uh, for those of you that participated, the Mason 24 and the 40. Where's that? Uh, I don't have it there at the <laughs> house. So we'll box it up and send it to Mars. We'll pretend so like it's here. We'll draw for the first one, the 24. Now, what you had to do to get the 24, you had to comment. No, I'm sorry. You had to like uh, uh, VaporGate's Facebook page and request to join to their group, uh, which is called Juice Lords. Um, those of you that did and posted on the thread or sent me a pm if you was having trouble with the screenshots i still went ahead and put your names in so we'll go over and we will draw the first set of names oh, i just always forget what screen i'm on so our first set of names i've got them all entered in here and we're going to pick one nick thomas 
So we will figure out who Nick Thomas is. Let me save that. And Nick Thomas now has him a Mason 24. You, Mason you really 24. like that Mason, is I love it. I, I Yosha's, man, it Yosha's amazing. He does some crazy oh, stuff. Yosha, uh, yeah. So we'll come back and draw for the 40 here when we get towards the end. I want to, uh, I can't it's no juice. I don't know. Uh, what juice? Got there. Yeah, it just uh, launched actually Monday. It's from a Vapor Stock Room. It, it's 200 mils of juice, okay? And it comes in those two. Oh, yeah, that's one you're talking about. Yeah, that's one. And uh, their point yeah, behind it is is that you get 200 mils of juice for uh, 60 bucks. They're great separately. So what's the blue also, one? They're also great mixed together. That's a cake batter. Yeah, let me get over the focus. Okay. Uh, Funfetti cake batter. It's a baseball themed. Uh, batter. Uh, but this, uh, like I said, you buy 200 meals. That, uh, it comes with a, a couple of little, uh, I think, a, a so you get your cake batter, cake band or something. and you got your strawberry shortstop. And they're, but they're great mixed together. They're great separately. Uh, so that's kind of the point of this. You get these together, right? This, yes. this comes as a little package. And what do you think about? I mean, have you mixed them? Use yeah, them separately? I mix them. Use them separately. And uh, what do you just I personally prefer? I like mixing them. To be okay. honest with you. Uh, I'm not real, real big on sweet, sweet, sweet. But, yeah. Uh, mixed together, the strawberry kind of smooths it out for me. Uh, well, I, now, who, who'd you say is this is from? Uh, Vapor Stock Room, uh, out of Kentucky. They make the blow juice, and so uh, that's actually a manufacturer. Yeah. Okay. Now, how? I'm just just curious, and maybe it's just not that regulations are there, but how how were how was the you know with the child proofing and all that? Well, how, actually, the tops that are on it yeah. are not the tops that ship to you with. I see. They okay, ship right. them so in the box. Ship those with it. Okay. But it okay. comes with a uh, you know a flat top lid, and, uh, and it is child proof. Straight right. Nice. Okay. Two, so 200 mils of juice for 60 bucks. Yeah. That's a deal. And, you yeah, know, that's, where it's, that's where it's going to. Is oh, big, absolutely. You know, yeah. uh, I know in Buddha Blue, we're, we're probably, I just ordered a bunch of 60 mil unicorn bottles. We're, we're probably going to move away from 30s and go with 60s as our bottom. Well, you know, I have some customers, though, it's weird around here. I've had some customers that they will not buy a 30 mil bottle. They want nothing but 15. Yeah. And then I had I have some customers that, I order 120 mils for it, and that's the only way they want it. Yeah, uh, I don't get that. And I, I think the, this is just my opinion, of course. I can only get one shop, so I don't see everybody. But I think the market's trending away from those 15 mil. Oh, months. I agree. I'm trying to trend away from them. I hear you. That's uh, just pain in the ass. <laughs> but I still have them certain customers that, you know, they're going, they'll are going. they tell me, hey, man, make sure you order me some 15s. Yeah. And I don't know if it's the comfort of the smaller bottle in their pocket or purse or hmm. You know, I think also some of it may be, I don't know if I'm going to like this long enough to vape this much of it. I was about to say, any of y'all that are, I was a focus conversation. Uh, because of anyway. the vapor. So anyway, any of y'all that are out there, if y'all are watching this right now, if you prefer 15 milliliter bottles, I don't think that'll be in your audience. But if you do, could you tell us why? maybe why you like that? I mean, I'm, I'm curious to know. Not, um, not something that's for me. I, I, I just. The, the way I look at it is kind of the, the I've, I've never thought the value was there for the amount. Yeah. You know what I mean? For what you had to sell a 15 mil bottle for, yeah, you tell you're not, you're you're not really getting any value yeah. either way. You're going to, for, for quality juice in a 15 mil bottle, you're just going to pay 13 You're going to pay about bucks. 70 to 75% of what you paid right. for a 30 mil. So, you know, why not get the 30? I don't get it. I guess you can make the same it. case for a 120, though. You, you definitely know what I mean? can a make the case for a 120. 120. So, uh, I, I, a 120 I, just seems pretty deep, though. Yeah, yeah, and I can understand why people don't want to buy 120. Yeah, I get that one. Uh, that's, just, that's a lot of juice. But it's a lot of juice. And like. that's, I think that was their idea behind that, is you're buying a lot of juice, but you're getting three flavors. Uh... Because I know I don't, I've changed juices okay. throughout the day. Uh, Becca's saying she keeps small bottles for purse purposes, so that that yeah. makes sense if, if somebody's got a smaller purse or something like that. Yeah, that makes uh, sense. Who wants to give me twenty four, Nick? Uh, Chris Peacock. I'm not sure. Um, somebody up there said something about Scott loves protein flavors. So yeah. Stephen Burns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Scott. Scott, well, Scott, Scott likes the man gravy. Well, that's fine. We've all got our man. hobbies. <laughs> well, hey, hey, you, you knew what you was walking did you see into. That, did you see the bell pepper he posted on Facebook? <laughs> no, I must have missed it. Then. Y'all check that out. You'll see it if y'all go to Vaporize Nomad's <laughs> Facebook. See the the bell peppers that Actually, Stephen Burns yeah. loves. <laughs> well, and that's. Uh, James, this is the 30 mil unicorn bottles for portability. I think that's what probably most people have been in vaping a while. They usually get a bigger bottle and then transfer it up 15 to 30 are, milliliters. Unicorns unicorn. are real portable. Yeah. Uh, 
You know, and the plastic, they're not glass. You ain't got to worry about breaking them. BPA free. I, th- so I found out, though, you need to make sure that you get the quality. Oh, absolutely. Because uh, oh, yeah. they make some of them, they're so thin. Oh, that you have to yeah. rupture over time. Yeah, you definitely got to be careful. You'll have to get those from Pontotop Vape Lounge and not Amazing Vapors. Well, no, Amazing Vapors has Buddha Blue. <laughs> so, thank you, thank you, nothing. Tell him. I mean, because I, 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 I got but a lot in sell, my box. You sell seconds to Amazing Vapors, right? Yeah, it is only the seconds. <laughs> I mean, but, you know. Somebody's got to sell them. Yeah. Oh, in all seriousness, guys, um, if you're watching this, if you're from the area, you know, ch- check out both stores. Always, yeah, we're you know, just having a good Before time, I had a shop, it's always good to go check out other stores. Every I shop does something a little bit different. And I tell people that all the time. I mean, you know, you got you got Druthers, you got Vaporwise, you got me, and there, uh, I believe there was another one just opened up too below. I'm not 100 percent sure about that, but you know, we all carry different yeah, things. There's a couple in Oxford that are the same way. Taylor, like Taylor Cloud Nine. Taylor, uh, Taylor yeah, Selection is. I'm gonna be honest. When it comes to what's in that rack, Taylor Selection second to none. Oh, really? She yeah, has. I've got to go over and visit her. She has days. more so stuff in her rack. I mean to keep going over there and visit her and never get over there. As far as selection goes, Taylor, man, That's she's cool. got. And then Tanner's got. Tanner's actually moving right now yep. to the building behind him. He but, has to. Um, I think he's got. A, I've seen some ideas. He's, yeah. you know, he's doing a shop and he's actually knocks on my ideas off of the bastard but anyway but he's i think he's gonna have a really nice shop back there I, mean, you know, I, I, I say i'm gonna tell you a lot man i take i look at I, when we travel we all, i love that's one thing me and my wife do but on our way back we usually take yeah, a couple of days that. and stop it take because you get ideas from other shops oh, that, absolutely, and then absolutely. put your spin on them yep. and, and I, I will tell you what, traveling, I've walked into some fucking dirt oh, shops. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, that. I mean, I even said it on that video we kind of did for advertising for this shop. I mean, that's where, I mean, your ideas have to come from somewhere. I mean, yeah. we at least have been all over the country, and we tried to select the things that we like best and thought people would like best and brought here. It was, you know, one thing, you did, you were like me. I don't like walking into these vape shops that are like walking into a doctor's office. You know, you oh, feel like exactly. you've got yeah, to just buy. Just a sterile environment, you know, buy the package, leave. And, yeah. and that's what, how, when we, me and my wife uh, did this, we were like, you know, we want it to be a lounge, you know. Yeah. So, you know, we want it to feel comfortable and, and all I really that. love y'all's new remodel. I really love the way it's, y'all got it set up now. How it opened up. A lot more space too. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah, yeah. It, uh, yeah, it opened it on up and uh, we added uh, a few more showcases. Uh, but we still kept the uh, the antique motif yeah. we have going in there. <coughs> Good looking shop. And you got a what? You got an event coming up next Saturday. Don't oh you? yeah, my uh, birthday. We actually have two events. One of them is a charity event for uh, a very dear friend of mine, uh, raising some money for uh, some legal fees with him and his daughter. Uh, and then uh, that what day is that all? That's the twenty sixth. That, next Saturday, right? Yeah. Okay. And then that night from uh, starting at nine. PM, we're doing uh, Amazing. After, after Dark. Dark. Yeah, after Dark. JC's actually, the, I think, one of the special I'm, guests. I'm one of the special guests. Uh, but it's I'm... a tasting. We're, we'll have probably 50 or 60 new juices out uh, for everybody to try and rate yep. and grade. Yep. Uh, I'm beer, free beer, uh, free food. Free beer. Uh, and everything. So uh, I think it will. I think it'll be something that everybody enjoys, and something maybe we can kind of start working yeah, together on. Cool, yeah. You gonna give me yeah. something for my birthday? Yeah, that's, oh. my birthday is March twentieth. What are you giving me? When's your birthday? The twentieth. Yeah, I'll give you something. Okay. <laughs> I got you something coming to oh, you, Scott. Never mind. Hey, Steve, don't send me nothing. <laughs> Steve's gonna get him something. I guarantee you, Steve's about to say something crazy right now. <laughs> So we've got a lot of people around, as of lately, kind of talking about wanting to get into making juice in small batches, large batches, kind of break into the making juice thing, you know, and everybody's making juice. Somebody suggested, why don't we talk about, you know, kind of some of the differences in making big batches and small batches. I'll be honest with you, you're going to have to talk about small batches. Even when I first started off, the smallest batch I ever made was like half gallon. Yeah. Um, Just because, and I'll tell you my reasoning behind that was... You know, if you if you make a thirty mil bottle or something and you're off a drop out of a dropper, yeah. you're off pretty bad. And it's oh, yeah. hard to it's hard to know your measurement and replicate that when you get it just right. So I always felt like even for test batches, a half gallon gave you some room for error. So if you're measuring in milliliters out of a small syringe, you're yeah. gonna be able to go back to that recipe again. Well um, I'd say that would be for me the biggest difference is yeah. if you're mixing thirty mils you really got to be critical about your measurements so you can go back to what you found that you like. I mean, and I, I mean, I'm not a big mixer yeah, or anything, but Gordon, uh, you know, Gordon Tinsley is one of my very good friends, and uh, he has a huge <coughs> company, and mm-hmm. what I've learned from him and stuff, you know, 
that juice has got to steep and, exactly. and before it gets the full exactly. flavor. And I think a lot of people think you just throw it in that bottle and. Oh yeah, especially in any kind of custards or any kind of vanilla. It, what you taste when you first mix that is nowhere you know near what you're gonna have. Thank God, because it usually tastes like shit when you first well, mix it. Well, you know, my my best suggestion for someone making small batches for themselves. Um, you know, the, the standard stuff, and we, we ran into a fella here earlier who was making small batches of juice in 100 mil, or 400 mil bottle, 500 mil bottles, but he was only putting like 4 or 5% flavoring in it. He, so just, just, you know, remembering small batches. For one, you can't make juice in 30 mil bottles. You just can't fucking do it. Yeah, Buy say, some 100 I, mil I bottles. I do know people that do it. And for themselves, it's successful. I just have a hard time believing you're going to be consistent at those small quantities. The thing about a 100 mil bottle, and I've been making juice for five years, me and my wife both, and the 100 mil bottle is really easy because it's easy to add, you know, for 10% flavoring to add, you know, 10 milliliters of flavoring to it. So so we always did small batches in 100 mil bottles, and that's easy to make sure because you can get syringes that are as low as one milliliter, and yeah, you, you, you know, get, it's up to you twenty. At hundred right? mils, I think you can get. You know a lot about close. Needles, don't you? I know <laughs> shit ton about needles. But yeah, you know, so I, you know, my recommendations in, in small batches for yourself. There are tons of places to go get flavorings if you want to experiment, well, like uh, Wizard so Labs. These juices, and I've, I've asked several people this. I always get a different answer. You get these ones that the uh, that have this floral taste to them, almost. Uh, some of that is there are some extracts that when you're they're fresh when you get them, um, that especially ones that are alcohol based, um, they, they with with very little steep time. Those those bases require a lot more steep time, and really what the extract is sitting in has kind of a floral note, not let, the actual. Yeah, let me flavor. say real quick just as expound on something JC just said. He's talking about extracts that are based in ethyl alcohol take more time to steep. The reason for that is you really need to believe that ethyl alcohol off of those juices because they give a severe throat punch. Yep. Now, one way you can do that if you're at home is to find a way to kind of aerate that. And whether well, that's, that's why, taking that's the cap take off, the cap yeah, off, take the cap alcohol off, shake the bottle up once a day, what you want to do is get the ethyl alcohol out of there. And not that the ethyl alcohol will hurt you, but it provides a throat punch much like a high BG juice would. Uh, now, Cool Dad had a question there, Beleno, about multi-gallon batches. Now, currently in the Buddha Blue line, we're making five-gallon batches, uh, and and absolutely not. You do not have any flavor loss if you stir it properly. But stirring it properly yeah, it requires. Says if it's not stirred, though. It, so you, to answer your question, yes, you would James. just have over-flavored parts yeah, and under-flavored. You, have but you have to. And sweets yeah. and I say that Steve uh, Stevens will screw me up for my birthday. I'll pass. See, what we use in a five-gallon bucket is we have an emulsion blender, a a stand emulsion blender that lowers down into it, and it literally creates a fucking volcano. Exactly, and I'll I'll say that much. Man, obviously, me and Jamie do a lot of business together and prototyping on juices, and we kind of know each other's things. His ways of mixing juice and and what he goes for, yeah, completely different. Now, I feel like we both make some What do y'all think about the centrifuge? Uh, well, what what I actually use is the aeration method. Mm-hmm. I've got I'm mixing a five gallon carboy, and I actually have filtered air that I'll pump in the bottom of that. And as the air rises, it continues to mix the juice. Now, why do I do air. that? Because some of the extracts I use are ethyl alcohol based. By aerating, it actually allows that ethyl alcohol to escape much more quickly. Well, I mean, I, and this is stuff I've heard. Like, uh, you know, I know right now it's real big the uh, centrifuges that spin it, it like we've, in it. Yeah. we've talked about that a little bit, like but three thousand miles I don't, I don't an hour really or see. Other than completely mixing it, it may be a little bit faster. I, I don't know what other benefits are there, so I really you'd have to ask somebody that's more. See, I don't, I mean, I, I just, know. you know, that's just what I've read, you know, they're trying to. Now, if I was using ethyl, ethyl alcohol based flavorings, I would probably do an aeration because you need that time for it exactly. to get out. But, you know, I try to primarily stick to things in PG or in BG. And an emulsion blender, I don't think you could you could blend anything any better than it, with an emulsion I blender. I agree with you there. And I will say this for that point. One, another reason I use aeration is because we use such high percentages of extract. In right. I think some of the highest percentages I've ever heard, one of our flavors in particular, one of the more popular, is actually 30% extract. That's high. So it's, I, the aeration for me over the course of four or five days, let it aerate, seems to mix that better and what, let it so melt what, better. Say, say four or five days of uh, using the aeration, what... What was that compared to not using the aeration and just letting it sit? Early on, when I you got to remember, early on, it sit, only made, it would never mix. Yeah, only I only used gallon batches at first. So basically, what I was doing when we first started, obviously, I wasn't selling stuff. I was making it for me and people around me. I would just literally leave it out, shake the jug like three or four times a day, shake it really well, and I um 
There's that you know, guy that who seemed uses to do the well. It just, well, what it just is steeped the, a lot the, slower. That's it what steeped I'm saying. a lot slower when I shook it like that. What a, what a, and that's what I like about the aeration portion of it. It seems to have that, it has a more mature taste right. when you bottle it. Now, a month down the road, does it make a difference? I won't say Well, that's that just does. the first step of your process. That's just you've the first got, step. You've got, you've exactly. got more steps. Exactly. But a, a month down the road, I don't know because I was aerating long before I really started checking those kind of things. And I, maybe I believe in it for no reason, but it's, <laughs> yeah. it's my way. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So, my recommendation, any of you guys want to want to play around with making juice, there's a, there's a really good company, Wizard Labs. They carry all kinds of flavorings. They carry nicotine. It's a good place to start. Yeah, you can buy a very small yep. amount of extract. You can literally well, get yeah. one-ounce bottles exactly. you know, or 0.27-ounce bottles. And I will tell you bucks. up front, you know, uh, people ask me what's the what's the cost of mixing your own juice. Well, the cost is up front, really, you're going to waste a lot of extract and base because it just nothing tastes quite like you thought it would taste when it goes in. So That's you end up pouring a lot out. What's that? Um, the mode. So I'd say if you're going to start mixing your own juice, just be prepared to fail on the front end. Um, it's much like learning how to cook or anything else. What you think may taste a certain way is probably not going to end up that way. And that's the trial and error yeah. of starting to mix your own juice. But, most, yeah. most people that are chefs are love to cook, yeah. make good juice. Yeah. But well, I will say on the same hand, you know, if you're a chef, you love to cook, you're pretty good at that. There's a lot of information. You know, there's hundreds of years, thousands of years of information. There's not a whole, other than going online and checking a few recipes, there's nobody you're going to go really study under unless you go search out somebody in particular that's really going to tell you a lot about making juice. I, I want to answer Chris Peacock's question on dessert flavors. Um, the reason that you have, uh, it, it's, it's really profuse in, in dessert flavors causing your cotton to kind of run out quicker, is there's usually sweeteners that are added to those. And sweeteners are cool gunking monsters. And so you have a lot, a lot of stuff, and also like caramels and things that, that have any kind of sweetener, sucralose or stevia or any of those sweeteners are just murder to cottons and coils. Yeah. Um, and that's the absolute primary reason. I, said, I see James Milano, he's, um, y'all, I don't know if y'all saw his video, he probably did a pretty deep in one the other day. He does this little thing where it says uh, Mississippi makes life like a, like, it makes life really smooth. But anyway, what one thing he was talking about in there is that, that Mississippi, our our custard doesn't turn the cotton colors right. like you'll have bright white cotton after about a week of using it that's and that's why james we don't use in, in all of our juices and i will have to say that I, I i like the mississippi it's i can't do it all day i've told you before yeah, exactly. it's well, like eating a stick of butter well, how you like just canal? going back to what jamie said well, we don't use like i love it yeah, yeah we don't use any sweet i'm really so proud of that juice that, that's I, that would be the reason it, that's one reason, James, you don't see that cotton discoloration is because of the lack of artificial sweeteners in that juice. Um, and that would be across the board. If you find a juice that's not coloring your cotton, it's because it doesn't have artificial sweetener. And that's I prefer the taste of that. There are some juices that I know have artificial sweeteners that I like the taste of. There's some out yep. there that it really enhances. Like butter cake. Butter cake the cake problem is, is people can overdo it really oh, easily. You know what I want somebody to do is a coffee, but... You buy little, little five mil bottles of sweetener or French. He's giving it away. Man. He's giving it away. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> I've been saying this for two years, so y'all can't take it out of here. Yeah, me and him and literally are talking about what we'll talk later. Okay. What we'll talk later. Uh, but you, you talk about oversweet. You know, Adam Adam Warren, he, he brought a, a juice in here called Raging Donut. You remember that? Yeah, no, I've had it before. And it was so thing, sweet. Yeah. I mean, it was pancake so man. it was so obnoxious. Oh, oh pancake man, I hate that stuff. I can vape pancake man, but I can't get through a whole. I can vape it. it; it just wears on me pretty bad. I'm not sure. It makes I my tongue feel my heavy. On. A lot of it is I don't really like a, a heavy strawberry vape, like yeah. that thick strawberry underneath. That's one reason I don't like it. So pancake Ralph, man. Yeah, it's got like the strawberry taste the undertone. Strawberry in it's got like it's a, got a bitter taste strawberry in it. No, it's got like a, to me, so, a real yeah, heavy Yeah, in fairness, I don't really like the heavy strawberry vape. At the same time, it used to get something going on that just doesn't sit well with me. But I'll say the Scott same thing about in, Sick Boy. Yeah. I know a lot of people love Sick Boy. Obviously, it's a great juice. I've never there tried one juice in that line. There is something about the base they use and every flavor they have that just does not sit well with me. Melena says Scott just won the internet. I don't know how, but Scott won the internet. So I own it now? Do you, you own it? <laughs> so do we have to pay a license fee for this podcast? Well, I mean, well, I want it, so I guess. <laughs> well, I'm going to copyright this shit now. Thanks a lot, JC. <laughs> <laughs> next week, y'all get a bill. We'll get a bill next week. Well, guys, what what else? Anything else you guys want to kind of hear about, talk about? We're running we, pretty close. we got a couple of minutes left, and we're going to do that live strong on the 40. And, uh, and yeah. 
This has been fun. I really enjoyed the hell yeah, out of it. Yeah, I was actually worried about him coming yeah. out here tonight because I thought he'd come in here and act like a complete asshole. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm the best asshole there is, I promise you. Are I, you? I believe that, man. Nice and tight. <laughs> Anyway, Scott, I appreciate you coming over, brother. Man, I've had a fucking ball. I have over. We're not over yet. I appreciate you bringing those devices over, dude. You brought over some really cool and, shit. Uh, you know, there's a couple of new devices coming out uh, here in the next week or so. I told you about one yep, of them, the, the AIO. The Joy Y'all be looking for it. It's yeah, a really check cool out the Joy device, Tech. It's going to be a the big Joy Tech AIO. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a you big know, competitor. For, uh, did you see the uh, the Chinglish conversation that I had on Facebook? Yeah, I did. That guy was trying to sell me the AIO. I wish you had a ball. I should have brought one with me. They really, man, I'm telling you. Yeah, I saw it. They look really nice. Yeah, for y'all, y'all. I don't know what he's talking about. It's like basically Joy Tech's answer to the Kanger Subbot. I'll pull it up. Um, I'll talk a little, about it. a pretty damn sleek design. Do you know what the is it a 19 millimeter like the Kanger is? Or do you know? uh, no, it's a little smaller than the Kanger. Really? Uh, the only thing I can see, it don't hold a lot of juice. Um, uh, it's, so it's got the Tron style glass. I I but it's all one piece. There's not a tank and. Uh, Okay. And mod, it's all one piece. It takes the, uh, but the tank that is attached to it is a, uh, the, oh, crap. it's, no, it's that. one that do, it's, will not leak at all. It has a, a cup, oh, wrong one. and the coil sets down into the cup. Is that that's the one you're talking yeah. about here? Pretty good looking little device there. Well, well I say, if y'all are familiar with the Evig Mini with the Tron tank on top, I wonder. Okay, so it's got the airflow adjustment yeah. on top then. So yeah, it's, it's like the, the uh, like what's it, that okay. name of the tank? The Cubus. The Cubus. Cubus yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's what it is. I mean, it takes the Cubus. It does look just like it. it's just a little less glass showing. There. Yeah. Oh, uh, but they're. I mean, they're really. You know, I'm glad to see stuff coming out like this because it, it gets people away from these. Uh, what I what we all know as the ego uh, yeah, the style ego starter style, pins. Yeah, I yeah. think everybody's about had a gut full of egos but, at this point. <laughs> I mean, and I can remember when that was uh, hey, the <coughs> the thing. Yeah. So I tell you, this is going to use the Cuba style coil. Yeah. Is what I'm saying yeah. is right. So this is this is a good device for people who are coming off from smoking yeah. because yeah, with that the Cubus one has a, the 1.5 has got a really tight draw to these things. Yeah. You can yeah. also use the 0.5 ohm coils. They've got a looser draw. I even enjoy the point five. Color. And uh, it lights up in the middle when you hit it. And you change yeah, you're telling me. Yeah, I think it changed change up colors. to seven colors. Yeah. So uh, I actually think that's a pretty cool product. Actually, I'm 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 ready for those to come out and see how they compare to the Subbod, man. Because Subbod's been outrageous. And the price point on them's not that bad. I think in stores you're gonna see them somewhere probably around thirty, thirty-five bucks. That's what I would figure. Yeah. So even there, it beats the Kanger Subbod and yeah. retail price at least. Yeah. yeah. And you know, this my only thing about Joe. Uh, uh, Joy Tech is that you know they tend to come out strong and yeah. finish weak. Yeah. And so hopefully with these they uh, they don't do that. Man, I'm excited about the Griffin 25. That's that's what I'm most excited about. I'm glad to see her bringing out the 25. I know you disagree with me on this. Yeah. I thought the Griffin's Achilles tendon was having the chamber so close to the glass in that tank. It just works for me. me. Yeah. I know it works for you. For me, the glass was too close to the tank, and I had trouble getting high VGs uses to work. Having right. said that, I yeah. vape it a good bit more wattage than you right, right, the time, right, so that's right, why right. I was having a problem. Right. I think with the 25, I noticed the 25 has got the same size internal chamber. And it, should al- it should alleviate that problem. See, I haven't met, really and messed with the Kanger very much. Uh, yeah, no, it's the Griffin. I mean, the Griffin. Yeah. Uh, but I think it's the best flavor tank on the market. I really believe that. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, that's, 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 that's a, I think you're going out all in. Yeah. Yeah. I really believe that. I'm going to tell you, I still, say, I still think the Heracles is... I st- I'm sorry. I, I still think the crown's got it. Man, yeah, so we're always going to have to disagree on this one. But I tell also, you know, I got the the, the new tub tank, ceramic rebuildable. So I'm Super excited ceramic, about that one. I think ceramic coals is where it's going. Yep, the, the ceramic. Unfortunately. The yeah, because, the, I mean, I love, <laughs> sell, I sell a lot of coals. Yeah. And all you do is change the cotton. In this, in the tub tank, all you do is change the cotton. If it's anything like that Target seventy five yep. was, you're not going to need many down calls. God really. darn! I still haven't sold any. Uh, I haven't either. I've still got uh, like five packs of these bastards in there. If you need some, I'll be glad to. No, I'm to some, something else. Now this is made by the Vap- Vapresso. Is that right? Yeah, Vapresso. Vapresso. They yeah. uh, they have got a new tank called the uh, Gemini oh, yes, tank. Yes, I saw that. And it is. It, they're saying it's 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 going to it's going to unseat the Griffin as the best flavor tank. So it's on RTA the then. It's an RTA. Okay. They will have coils for it. Any kind of, uh, but you it's know made about the by. Or anything? No, not really. It's it's on pre-order right now. I ordered one the other day, made by Vapresso, and they say that it's going to knock this off its high horse because I'm not the only one. A lot of people in the vaping industry I'm, believe. I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I know. I accept well, it. A lot of people believe this is the best flavor to take out. If y'all played with any of the uh, Wisemec uh, 
tank. So no. No. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, Wisemack is, I think, an underdog. I think people aren't giving them. I think they've come around quite a bit. Ain't no doubt about that, man. I think I would compare them to Rising Tech when they started coming out with the Arctic, and that's what really got their. A lot of people don't know Horizon Tech's been a company long before the Arctic. They just didn't have that that product out there. Hit, Hori- you know? Now I almost ordered one of Hor- Horizon's new tanks. They have a ceramic rebuildable that just hit the market. What's it so, called? You know, uh, you know? No, I I could probably find it, but oh, no, we'll, we'll get back to it another it. time. Um, but I got the moonshots, another one. You know, so you know people are uh, everybody wants the VCMT, but it's like uh, vapor squad can't guess, keep I up with stock. I, it's a good actually time. somebody. I will tell you all this. There's a wholesaler out there just picked up VCM, yeah. and they have got a huge quantity of stock. Remember, let me tell you about that afterwards. The uh, but the moonshot is. It's got a very similar deck. It's got very similar juice channels. It's it's, it's set to compete. You'll find out that mouse that mouse is going. You're gonna throw that in the garbage. But I I got a moonshot on the way, and that's made by uh, Segeli. And so stock would be no problem. I'll be, I hope that that's true that Segeli's got, because I've been really disappointed with Segeli over the past well, six, seven well, years. Well, Segeli came out with that tank. It was great, then you couldn't get cold for it. Well, this is a rebuildable tank, though. So, you know. I've just been, uh, in general, starting with the Segeli 150, when they came out with a new one, the temp control, I just thought Segeli was on the wrong track. They started yeah. putting out some products that were not. Like the old monolithic 150s well, that really work. And they well. hadn't dropped their, they ain't got their prices right. Yeah, prices I mean, they're too still high. too high, especially with Kanger yeah. coming out. Oh, with the Kanger product. and the RX 200 that you could buy for twenty dollars less wholesale than a yep. together 150. Come on. And I really yeah. thought that they didn't drop their prices when Kanger yeah. came out like this, but they didn't get yeah. on. Well, the Moonshot's getting some rave reviews. I'll be, I'll, I hopefully we'll be talking about that next week along with the Tug Tank. I don't know about the Gemini though. That's on pre-order, so I don't know when that would be through. I don't know if Jacob's talking to me or you. It says badass tattoos. He's probably talking to you. Oh, he's talking about that Amaze of Vapor tattoo. Yeah, hey, yeah. Now me and Adam are going to go get our VN tattoos here pretty quick. Scott is, too. Scott is, too. Huh? You going to get your Vapor tattoo? I was like, huh? I'm going to get on my ass. <laughs> That's fine with me. Okay. I'd like to have a target. <laughs> well, cool. So, 26, we're going to be at Amaze Vapors for After Dark. And uh, we got IBO coming tomorrow night. In between October's coming to play tomorrow night. Uh, and the IBO the will be there at the 26th play. They're coming over there. Good deal. Uh, Good deal. You got yeah, great. Band. You got Pip, Pip coming uh, yeah, the week before uh, that. Pip's coming. No, she's actually coming May the 21st. Oh, okay. so we got a little time on that one. Pip Gresham, now Suicide Bunny, uh, no, Cloud Company. He said, uh, uh, I don't know when she's coming yet. Kim just. Uh, if you guys don't know, I know some of you know uh, Kim and uh, Jeff Lyles over at Skull and Roses Mellow Vape. They actually just had a kid, um, their third. So. Congratulations, they man. I don't know about. what the deal is, man. I told Turn him I just got to stop doing that after a while. <laughs> yep. You have what, seven or eight? I've got a, I've got two and two step signs, so oh, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm doing all right, man. I'm done. Are you? No more. I, got, on, I, I, I had my fun. first grandchild. I'm only 30. You're old, man. man. I'm only 30. Yeah. Oh, shit. What are you actually, what, 40? I'll be 41 yeah, March 20th. You're about my same age. I actually thought you were much older than me. JC said you were a grandfather and old and decrepit. So. Nah, I got a clean up tape. <laughs> uh, well, guys, it's been a great show. Yeah. It's worked out pretty it. smooth. No pauses. Ran pretty fluid. The feed has looked amazing. That's, I hope y'all like the feed. We went to some links. Uh, JC has actually done most of the work here to set this up. And then we actually had a fiber optic line that's been worked on for about the past month. We were telling you about it. I actually dropped it in today, a 50 by 50 fiber line. So... Hopefully the feed was clear and came across well. And not as bad as my video I did. Oh my God, man, that was hilarious. <laughs> anyway, Scott, we're well, glad to have you. Yeah, man, man appreciate uh, you coming over, dude. You're gonna man, do anytime, this, man. Yeah, yeah. I'd love to have you over, dude. I like that you bring toys and we get to show people new stuff. Because yeah, you know, a lot of lot of say you got stuff in your shop I don't have, so when you bring stuff over. You know, steady mod. I don't know if y'all ever heard of steady mod. Actually, we're gonna talk about those boxes next week. We're gonna uh, go yeah, in you depth. Got one, I'm you? using. I started using it yesterday, pretty hardcore, and we're gonna uh, what. Uh, Scott's talking about it's got a company called Steady Mind, and I've actually got one of their uh, Mech Series boxes in here. Take it up close for um, a second. That's their two, 200 watt DNA. Uh, so, I, I this, one, this was a little beat up. Scott uses this one all the time, so don't don't think that the box came this way. Um, he's got the LiPo battery. Um, the one I've got out here, like I say, is a Mech Series box, twin 18650s. I gotta say, though, I've been pretty impressed with the build quality on these. Um, with the Mech box, of course, there's nothing groundbreaking there. But it's a nice, clean box, and I especially like the blue colors on these. And it but comes with life. Uh, what I like about it is the guy gives a lifetime warranty on it. On it, you know. Now, if you tear it up, you're sure. dead. Sure. I mean, sure. You know, but uh, he 
He's out of Kentucky. Yep. Uh, he makes a really uh, damn up box, I think. Yeah, uh, we're going to talk about those. Like I say, you know, for those of y'all that know or have some of our products, we're really, at least I am, really, really anal about fit and finishing a box, the way the door goes on, the way the wires are running. i got to tell you, this, this meets all that criteria. Well, and, that, and I hate when you see looking boxes in there. That or they have them. I don't like ones that are bolted down where you can't yeah, open exactly, them up. Exactly. And I asked this guy. I said, "Why do you? Why is it not bolted down? It's got a lipo in it." He said, "Because I want it." He goes, "If something goes wrong and it starts venting, I want you to be able to jerk that battery out. I don't care what you tear up. I'll fix yep. it." He goes, "That battery's locked up in there. There ain't nothing you can do." I gotta say, like I say, fit and finish on these boxes. I, I think this box right here and the, the series box I have out there at Scott's Living Bar, it, it checks all the boxes in way of quality. They're built well, the square, the back door. And you like the jam up box too now. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. I, we're pretty proud of these, man. My main thing he is that. He won't let me use door. one. He says that. You know, I've got you one out here in the case, man. I just need three hundred dollars for it. Okay. <laughs> one hundred and twenty for anybody else. <laughs> Steve got, said, "Steve told me I can get one for thirty bucks." Well, Steve's a little bitch, so. Yeah. <laughs> Steve, like I say, I want to thank Steve again for coming over, man. It took a lot of load off our back. If y'all hadn't come down to Pine Top Vape Lounge, you're in the area. Make sure to come by and check us out. This guy's got amazing vapes. Like I said, Tupelo, Starville. They've also got uh, his Top partner, Dog. Top Dog, down at Starville. Y'all check him out. South Brandon, uh, Melissa, wonderful people. Wonderful people. And um, and uh, your wife's still running South Tillis. She's doing South Tillis. Yeah, she runs. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, we'll say that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I hope she ain't watching Amanda, this. Amanda runs me. the South Tillis store. Anyway, like I say, JC's got some new things coming out of his juice line, and you can buy them at either stores around there. I think me and you might be working on something. Uh, we just say that. We're working on something. Yeah. Might have something coming up. Maybe we'll branch out somewhere. Yeah. Anyway, guys, always appreciate y'all watching. Always appreciate your feedback. Like I say, hit us up on Facebook if you got any ideas for next week's show. JC, always a pleasure, brother. Yeah, absolutely. Scott, hey. it's good to have you. Yep. And like we okay. always say. Clear it up. It's going to clear eventually. <laughs> hey, peace, peace out, out y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to tip him somewhere.